Hey guys, welcome back. Today I want to share with you some of my current favorite makeup items that I find myself reaching for over and over again. Also a couple of these things I only got recently and I'm actually since I got them I've been using them every day and you know when you buy something and you just know it's gonna stick around for a while yeah those kind of things so I'm going to share those things with you today I have to share with you this new brush set that I got from eBay of all places I got it from eBay and they come in a bundle of five like this and I think they're supposed to be sort of like Sigma brushes brush dupes or something like that I don't know but these are amazing like amazing quality they are so soft and dense and just since the day I got them I've just been using these and seriously I'm thinking of just retiring my other brushes because I love these so much I've actually got another set on the way um, because I find myself using these brushes for different things in particular I'm really loving this brush here this one is like a tapered kabuki and it's amazing for under eye like amazing I've also been using the kabuki what I really like about this brush is that it's wide it's also very dense and it's also short so it, I can really buff in the foundation another brush I've been really loving as well is the angled flat top I've been using that to uh, contour and I just find it makes it just easy uh, one that I haven't used yet but came with the kit is the flat top and another one is an angled rounded brush so it's kind of like an angled version of this brush all of these are so so soft like seriously I think I got this set for like nine dollars including shipping to Australia nine dollars like another thing i've been loving is this lip color that i've got on this is a uh, barry m i think they're lip paints or lip creams i can't remember what exactly they're called but it's this shade in 156 and i've got it on right now it's a uh, it's a drier formula but it's not 100 percent matte it's kind of like a satin finish and um really really loving it lovely bright jewel berry tone just yeah another favorite product of mine is the brow kit by barry m so this little compact comes with a wax a shadow and also a highlight so i've been really using the shadow in the middle to fill in my eyebrows and it's just a really good neutral to cool toned brown which is what I use for my eyebrows um, I have used the wax sometimes I use it sometimes I don't depends and also the highlight I've been using that for just underneath my eyebrows and I find it works really really well to finish off my eyebrows I've also been using my sample of the Anastasia brow gel that I got from the Bella box and initially I was I was kind of thinking that it wasn't that different from my Essence brow gel but it actually is this actually kind of sets on my eyebrows and lasts throughout the whole day whereas my Essence one kind of disappears by the end of the day and also what I really like about this little brow gel is that it's got a small applicator brush so it makes it really easy to uh, apply the gel to my eyebrows uh, another favorite of mine is the milani luminoso blush i'm really loving this blush i'm actually wearing it today um it just it's not very pigmented it's not very dark it just gives this really nice peachy glow and there's no glitter in it either it's just this really nice satin color i mean i'll swatch it but you can't really see it yeah, it's a very very light color but it gives this awesome glow to the cheeks and i'm just really loving it i must say uh, this australis bronzer and sun kissed it's what i use to contour my cheekbones today here's a swatch for it what i really like about this is that it's a satin finish 
so it doesn't have any glitter in it or any shimmer it's just this really pretty it has a really nice sheen to it and when i use it uh, for contouring it just it works really well for me so that's what i've been using next is my setting powder this is by rimmel it is the stay matte powder in translucent and as you can see i have hit pan so i use this pretty much every day and i just really like it it's really finely milled doesn't cake and it just works it doesn't keep me matte all day i will admit but it works for when i do put it on and i haven't found a powder or a primer that well i haven't tried that many prim primers actually but i haven't found a powder that actually takes away the oilies unless you reapply throughout the day and i don't reapply so yeah i got this powder about a week ago and i've been using it every single day i've used it today under my under eyes and can i just say i love it i really really love it it's a super finely milled powder and it's in this obviously there's a yellowy shade and i use it underneath my eyes to set my under eye concealer for me it's not that that much brighter than my skin tone so it doesn't it doesn't give a very strong highlighting effect but I don't know what it does it just makes everything look really flawless so yeah I'm really loving it and I got the big ass jar because I don't know like there's a reviews sold me so um, I opted for the big jar and I'm glad I did because I really really love it and I've been using that uh, pointed kabuki brush to apply it underneath my eye my eyes and just great great combo just loving it loving it loving it second last item is my well loved nude eyeliner this is uh, Rimmel Scandalize in nude and I use this all the time it's one of those um, products that you know they don't they're not bold products but they make such a big difference um, I use this to line my waterline um, it makes my eyes look a lot uh, more open and yeah, most importantly I use this pencil just where my eye ends like right in that little corner there um, I find I've got a little bit of hyperpigmentation a little bit of redness and this just takes it right away cleans up my whole eye look and I just love it little like my secret I love this so much already got backup of it naturally the next thing I've been really loving is actually my Z palettes. I'm really loving this idea where you can depot your eyeshadows and just magnetize them to this palette so that way you can create your own palettes. Um, also, when I'm buying my shadows from Makeup Geek, which is another favorite of mine, all the Makeup Geek eyeshadows, I haven't made a review specifically just for these yet because I've got some more coming, so once they come, I'm going to make this massive review and swatch fest for you guys uh, just to show you how awesome these eyeshadows are. So far I've got these guys and literally I want them all. I think I'm gonna like have most of them with the next packet that I get from them which should be sometime next week so uh, yeah watch out for that review because it's going to be massive and awesome because Makeup Geek, I just can't rave enough, I just love them so much. So, um, anywho, the Z palette I really love and in here I've departed my Wet n Wild trios and can I just say, this eyeshadow here, amazing, amazing eyeliner. Like, it is so pigmented, I have to literally just lightly dab my brush, my brush in it and I use this every day for my uh, eyeliner. Um, let me give you a little swatch. Honestly, it's like that was the lightest touch ever. Like, like it's this. It is the prettiest dark, really dark chocolate brown color with gold fine micro shimmer through it. It is so pretty. It's from the uh, I'm Sunburnt, um, yeah, I think it's called I'm Sunburnt Trio, 
and it actually comes with the purple shade on top and the gold shade here and that's the crease color but seriously that is the most amazing liner liner color i have come across i just love it love it love it another two shades that i really love from the z palette that i have here is the crease color from the wet and wild trio i think it's the walking on eggshells trio and also the eyeshadow shade as well from that it's just amazing top color i'll just swatch swatch the top color here like so pretty and the crease color next to it again super pigmented right next to it those were my currently favorite makeup items that i use and love and like i said watch out for huge makeup geek swatch fest and review probably in a couple of weeks because i'm waiting for some more makeup geek eyeshadows to arrive but until then i'll see you guys next time see ya